Now, uh, let us get familiar with uh, another idea related with the Lagrangian formulation for constraints. So, uh, if the motion of a system is restricted, in some ways, we say it is constrained motion. So, restrictions imposed on a system are called constraints. And when uh, there is there are constraints, we say forces of constraints are acting on the system. Now let us uh, consider few examples of constraints acting on the systems. Consider a simple pendulum. So this is the system. The simple pendulum is moving in the xy plane. This is x axis, y axis. The simple pendulum is oscillating in the xy plane. We say constraints are acting on the simple pendulum. One is z equal to 0. The z is a constant because the bow of the simple pendulum is constrained to move in the xy plane. So this is a constraint. Another one is the length of the pendulum is a constant. So if you take x, x is uh, this angle is theta the angle made by the simple pendulum at the vertical, that is theta. So x is L cos theta and this is y, y is L sin theta. And if you square and add x and y, x square plus y square, that is equal to L square and that is a constant. So uh, two constraints, we can say two constraints are acting on the system. and. Uh, these are the constraint equations. So the constraints represented in the form of equation are called constraint equations. And actually the degrees of freedom of the symbol pendulum is reduced. The original degree of freedom of the symbol pendulum is 3. Now it is becoming it is becoming 1. Two constraints are acting. And uh, we need only, we can say, uh, we need only one variable theta to uh, represent the system. Now, this is a, a system of a bead sliding down a wire. So, this is a wire, a bead is sliding down the wire. So, this is again a, an example for a constrained motion. The bead can move only over the slide. Now, this is a Another example, the rigid body, because of rigid body, uh, the constraint is the distance between any two particles is a constant. The rigid body will be moving, but the distance between any two particles will be a constant. So that is uh, represented by an equation, Ri minus Rj, this is the distance between the two particles, I and J square, that will be equal to Xi minus Xj square plus y i minus y j square plus z i minus z j square that is a constant. So it is a constant. So this is the equation for the constraint. Another example is a particle moving on moving on or outside the surface of a sphere of radius a. So we have a sphere of radius a, a particle is constrained to move either on the surface or outside the surface. So, um, the constraints, constraint is acting, the constraints are represented by an equation x square plus y square plus z square greater than or equal to a square. So, these are some examples of the constraints acting on the systems. In general, we can say as constraints act, the degrees of freedom reduces.